What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys inside DaVinci Resolve how to make a custom cracked title. Let's get into it. There's many reasons you would need a custom title. Well, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to do that inside DaVinci Resolve. So without further ado, let's hop in and get going. So first things first, you're going to need a fusion composition. I'm gonna drag that inside my timeline. It is five seconds long. If you would like it longer, you can make it longer. I do not need it to be longer, so we're gonna leave it right at five seconds. We're gonna hop inside the fusion tab, and here we're gonna go ahead and start assembling our title. The first thing we're gonna need is we are gonna need a title. So we'll go ahead and drag that, drop it over here. We're also gonna need Need a transform node so I'm going to drag that drop it here and we are also going to need a polygon I'm going to drag that right here none of these are connected we can get to that here in just a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and name this we'll just put cracked that should be fine we're going to go ahead and link the transform to our merge out our title to our transform and our polygon to our text now you can see this goes away. You can either invert this and take it off for a little bit, or you could just unlink it. It really doesn't matter to you. I normally just unlink it while I'm actually messing with the title. So I'm just gonna change the title to something that I think looks good. And I am going to go ahead and size it up a little bit, just like that. Maybe just the tracking just a little bit. Now I'm gonna click on the polygon. Instead of linking it, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw on it and we can link it in a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do somewhat of a crack through here, a little bit of a jagged line. You could do a straight line, you could do however you wanted. It really just depends on your creativity. We're just gonna go around just like that, create a circle-ish thing around it, go ahead and link it. And now you can see we only have the bottom half. You can see how that would be a little complicated if it was already linked to your title, which is why I leave it unlinked and then just draw it and relink it. The next thing we're gonna do is duplicate these three. Uh, but before I do that, I want to add a merge. I'm gonna grab that, holding shift and the mouse at the same time, dropping it in. And then I am gonna click on these three, command C on a Mac, command V to paste it. And we are just going to link this one right there. If I shut the polygon off the second one, you can actually see the full title is underneath it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna relink that and with the polygon number two selected, I'm going to invert it. A quick tip and a way to know if you actually have it inverted correctly is you can click on number one text. I can hit number one on my keyboard. I can go over here to text number two and I can hit number two on that screen. That way it shows they're separate. Before we go any further, let's talk about the sponsor of this video and that is Artlist. Artlist has been my favorite place to get music for over two years now. Just recently, they dropped a new plan called a personal subscription plan. Whether you're an awesome creator making videos for TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or many more, this affordable subscription plan has you covered. This subscription plan from Artlist is hands down my favorite plan I've ever seen for content creators. I will have a link in the description below if you guys would like to check it out and take your videos to the next level. Thank you so much Artlist for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. So now comes the fun part. We are gonna start animating this. So instead of animating in the text or the polygon, because if we start animating the polygon, it's actually just moving our mask, it's not moving the actual title, which is why I like doing everything in the transform nodes. So in the transform node for the first part of the title, we can actually see right here by moving it. I like to bring it just down a little bit. Then in the transform number two, we can do the same thing here. We can kind of make it go over. We could bring it up if we'd like. You could really exaggerate this if you want. I will tell you the more minimal you are, it looks better. It seems the smaller you do it has more of an impact. Now this is where the fun part starts. You could actually go into each title if you want and start tweaking them. Like let's go into the shading of text number two. We could actually do an outline if we wanted that. I think that looks cool. Uh, I don't really feel like it looks good for this specific video. Uh, you could actually go back into the text and you could change the font to something else. The problem is, is it's not gonna be the same size and you're really gonna have to start spacing it out. So we're just gonna leave it back the way it was. I do like going in here though and sometimes changing it to a color. So maybe there's a branding opportunity for doing red and green. I feel like that's Christmas, but you know, maybe that's what your video is for. Now we're gonna start animating the text, which is super simple. We're gonna go and transform 
from number one. We're gonna pick the frame that we want it to be at. Let's just start at zero. Let's drag it where we want it right there. Add a keyframe, go to 70. We'll move it over a little bit. Go to transform number two. Let's add a keyframe, go back to zero, move it over a little bit. And I actually did those opposite. So we will go there. Let's move it over there a little bit. Then we'll go back to our last keyframe and we could drag it over here a little bit more. That way they kind of go the opposite of each other a little bit. I think that's pretty cool. Now you could go above and beyond and add multiple masks. Maybe you want to have three points pulling apart instead of two just separating. Maybe you want a straight line. There's so many ways you could stylize this. It really just comes down to you and your creativity. There you go. That's how you create a crack title inside DaVinci Resolve. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe if you have not already and you're new here and you like this type of content and you want to see more of it. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'll see you next time. Peace.